<laughs> Welcome, you guys. Welcome to Homegrown USA, where we demand the truth. We read our Bibles and home remedies. Well, they work. So good morning. This is the morning show. We're still standing and we're thankful to be here, right? I can I get on a man <laughs> still standing where the purpose to dance isn't to get a, to a certain spot on the floor, but to enjoy each step along the way. Right. <laughs> I don't know who wrote that, but good morning, guys. Um, came across some recalls we're going to go over and um, probably incorporate in the show because no one I don't think covers them and very important what we eat and if we're eating bad foods and it can kill you that's not good so i'm gonna hop right on to it and get into uh get into the latest and greatest we gotta have some good times with the bad right like if you show all this bad news you gotta be able to smile through it i mean somehow right we gotta be able to smile smile through it all so let me get to it this morning and again thank you guys for coming thank you for watching thank you for being here and oh um all the comments you guys leave the prayers prayer requests are welcome in every comment of every video of mine and i will pray for you guys and other people will pray for you too and they'll actually thumb your prayer up so that's going really well keep it up um, love to see your comments i read each and every one of them so let's get to the let's get to it i'm not going to need this screen right now but we will in just a little bit so right ran responds to us uh <clears throat> and it says it you no know, response to us will be military so their response to us is going to be the military does that surprise anybody i mean um i don't think <laughs> this is just escalating like this is uh yeah i don't i don't know it, it just it's not getting any better <laughs> can we say that can we agree to that um things are not getting better with this situation um <laughs> They challenge uh, Mr. T announcing the end of the nuke restrictions. So they're basically saying, we don't care about your restrictions. We're going to use what we want to use. And the general replacing the guy that we knocked out uh, vows revenge for the U.S. Yeah. You know, they want revenge. I don't know. It's... Uh, it's a crazy world we live in now, guys. It absolutely is. <sighs> this is kind of near and dear to my heart. It's an atomic bomb. Australia deploys military as the fire spreads. This is sad. I know you guys probably have seen this and know what's going on, but it absolutely is. It, it's just, it's horrible. And, um, you know, what, what do you do about it? What can you do about it? I think, I truly believe that they have ways to put this out you know and and i've said that before but i mean we watch them i show you guys all the time they put the weather where they want i mean you know it, 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 they just do they got um they use all kinds of frequencies and stuff like that to, i mean they're proud of it guys <laughs> these scientists are in the middle of the desert going we made it rain and they're in a desert like they've done that like there's no secret like we made it rain in the in, in in the middle of the desert. They're proud of that stuff. So it's like, why can't they put their scientific hats on and fix this problem? So I saw this and I'm like, Australia. So it says, um, smoke from Australia brush fires reach New Zealand, turning their once clear skies orange. Wouldn't that be nice? You wake up and have orange skies. Now this is miles away. Look at this. So I'm like, well, we could just check that up we can like i like maps here right so anyhow this is let me see where i have is that okay so this is australia right we found it now what i did is i pr i turned on fires and thermal anomalies right now if you look at australia they got anomalies there's red let me get it closer we got anomalies here they're red um, and look at look at the smoke, guys. Look at the smoke. It goes all the way to New Zealand. New Zealand's are right here. And look at this air. How would you like to be breathing this? It's just, it's unfortunate. It's sad. Animals and people are, uh, yeah, it's not good. But as I was going through the worldview map, which I don't use this map uh, very often. I actually don't use it at all for many reasons. And I'll tell you the main reason in a minute. But look at the fire anomalies across Africa. 
I mean, what's going on here? I don't know. I have no idea. If you guys know, let it in the comments. But we got all these anomalies going across here. And uh, you look too much into this map and you'll just see how bad the air actually is. But, um, yeah, it's, it's horrible. So you got all this going straight into New Zealand and which would make that article correct. Um, Mike Morales covers, I don't use that map because Mike Morales covers the weather 100% from like, he does a full, here's a two hour show. Um, he does shorter shows, but if you guys want a solid weather show where it's 100% about weather, I have been watching Mike for years, years. I've, I've learned a lot from the guy. And I mean, he talks about bunker fuel being spilled out. He talks about, and he shows you, like he shows you what's going on. So that's the main reason I don't use that map because that's a big part of his show. And I try and let him do his thing because he, he covers 99, 100% of the weather and he will show you guys what's going on. So if you'd be kind enough, hop over here. I wouldn't tell you a bad channel. This is an awesome channel. Tell them uh, homegrown, homegrown sent you and come over here to Mike Morales and anybody that likes weather, wants to learn about the weather, he's he tells you right how it is. He shows you stuff, I mean, that that he just has an eye for it. He's got a talent and an eye to catch stuff that most people don't. You know, he can open a map up and see see stuff wrong immediately, and he can actually tell you exactly what's going on. So, again, uh, Homegrown sent me mike morales if you guys could do that i appreciate it um always liked his channel and um much respect to you mike uh moving along here um we're only a few days from the spacex now i kept this article because spacex just put the satellite up and everybody's uh, gooing and gone you know what i mean like oh my gosh look at the rocket like wow isn't that cool <laughs> it's really cool it's carrying like like six 65G network satellites. So the 5G is not just going to be on telephone poles. It's above our heads now. I mean, there's some more frequencies for our bodies to just absorb up, you know, and it's that's what they're putting up there. Uh, I think it says in this article, 60 Starlink satellites. If you go and look into the satellites, that's what they're for. I don't know if 100% what they are, if it's surveillance probably included, but I do know it's uh, to make like a web out in the stratosphere to connect everything, Starlink. So I don't goo and gah about the Falcon 9 launch much I, because I know what they're putting up there. This is like their third, probably second or third time up putting satellites up there. So anyhow, um, we're moving right along. Let's check the outages real quick and we'll get to the recalls here shortly i separated them all for you guys so you don't have to you'll see what i mean so we have no current outages uh, earthquake in puerto rico this is sad this kind of stinks yeah i got a 5.7 magnitude quake strikes puerto rico damage reported this isn't good guys we've got we've got earthquakes popping off everywhere i mean they're they're literally popping off everywhere i'll show you Anybody that knows anything about Puerto Rico, these houses are almost 100% built by, like, they're, these people build houses to last. I mean, it's 100% concrete houses. They're on an island. They get ravaged with hurricanes. I mean, these houses are strong. And look at this. I mean, right off the foundations. It's, it's just unbelievable to me. Um, I have some friends that live in Puerto Rico. So, yeah, it's it's insane. And just when you think it all can't happen, it can. That's how quick life can change. So, and then here's the world, I guess you'd call it the worldwide earthquake map. And look at this, guys. I mean, look at just the, look at the United States. You know, you got the Cascadia, the Madrid. I mean, that's a promise that that's going to happen. All we can do is prepare, but the world is just full of, full of earthquakes right now. And they're everywhere kind of uh kind of says that it kind of says that biblically you know i guess in a way we're supposed to expect that but yeah you keep your heads on a swivel and be prepared for this stuff it's absolutely crazy so i wanted to go through and show you guys the weather without the audio um and just show you what's happening we got some crazy stuff coming up for this week into the weekend mm -hmm. so basically 
th all this moisture is going to come up from from the golf here i'll show you here in a second it's uh here it comes so this is uh friday 7 a.m eastern standard time you go into friday then saturday look at this look at this moisture saturday at seven and um and it's gonna run, run into sunday i mean the whole eastern part of the u.s is going to be just underwater and this part here i mean you don't know where it's gonna you know we don't know where it's gonna be snowing and where the you know where the freezing line is going to be so there's probably going to be a ton of snow that comes with this and we're going to look at the total snowfall here in a minute so that's the weather coming up for this weekend the next ride looks well i didn't even look at it yet but it looks pretty tame which is good is there all the electrical frequencies and the crazy stuff that we find in the air it's pretty insane the stuff that we find uh we can skip that now um this is what i mean by but now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose that's right so we hear that they're changing the weather on purpose there's people out there that don't believe it but so there are scientists out there that are trying to change the weather on purpose but listen listen how lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning cbs this morning contributor michio kaku is a physics professor at city college lasers you guys <laughs> So here we got the um, Nexrad reflectivity map and trillion watt lasers, right? So let's just check a couple places, you guys. Look at Michigan. <laughs> if that doesn't look like a, I don't know, a trillion watt laser, I don't know what does. But look, look at the frequencies coming off down here in Florida. Like, look at this. This is mad. That's not weather. That is not weather. And our body just has to take this and absorb it. And, you know, you think of 5G and you think of the stuff that you can't see. And this is it. Whether they're controlling weather with it or not, it's still happening. This stuff is still, it's still in the air. We've got electric in the air. It's dirty electricity. Um, my father was an electrician among many things. And, uh, he talked about this when I was a child, how even the local radio stations and how one day the air would be just polluted with with wireless, wireless everything. And, you know, we got wireless. Everything's wireless. Well, there's something's making that work. Like there's something traveling through the air to make to make these things work. You know, and it's it's crazy to look around I'm trying to if your state's in here, I'd let you guys know. You guys that are subscribed, I put little warning videos out when this stuff is absolutely crazy because it affects me. I'm in Pennsylvania up here, and it gives me extremely bad headaches. I can tell immediately. I watch these maps like a hawk, and I can tell immediately when stuff's flying through the air up here. I can sense it. I can feel it, and that's why I started getting into grounding so much because it gives the energy in your body a place to go. Uh, Schumann resonance. Now, this is another electrical thing, right? So the Earth has a heartbeat, and the Earth's heartbeat is uh, pretty much like the electricity from the Earth up to the ionosphere, and it's a constant 7.83 hertz. Now, this electricity in the air works with our brains. Imagine that. It, it like, works right along with with our brains it's the same wavelength if that makes any sense if not i'm going to explain it better basically every day we're going to check this it says power 10 let's check what power it is <clears throat> excuse me um this is it right now look how calm this looks january 6th it says human resonance today power 10 and it says total calm total calm so if you guys ha are having a calm morning and things were kind of calm the last 12 hours this this could be why and the reason it could be why is we got doctors we've got all kinds of people that comment on this stuff down here if i get down here to it when you go to look this up i am feeling angry and i would like to share why someone comment below um over the holidays this thing was cranked up to 90. you know how it's at like 10 now 
I think it says 10. Yeah, power 10. It was up to 90. I mean, it was off the charts. The white spikes is when it's high. And then these are the hours down below. So if you look at this chart, these are hours, 9, 10, 11. And look how calm it was. But over the holidays, it was a complete whiteout. And I mean, we, we've got divorces. We've got people having all kinds of symptoms. Now, when I started really looking into this, I came down here and started reading these comments. And I'm like, oh my gosh, could it be true? Like, there's professors in here. There's doctors. And they talk about when this is bad, people don't feel good. I'm like, well, I guess that makes sense, right? Because you got... You got the earth and it's constantly being struck by lightning constantly it's being struck by lightning somewhere someplace right now and the earth gives off an energy it gives off a frequency and it directly correlates with our minds so if that frequency is jacked up you know real high it's going to make us think differently it's going to make us feel differently just the weather alone right remember when we were kids I mean, I'm not that old, right? But <laughs> remember when we were kids, you would feel a low a low pressure system come in. And that was just a low pressure. Like it's getting ready to rain and you could feel it in your elbows, you know, and, and you knew kind of when the weather was bad because it would affect your body. We're connected to this place, guys, and we just are. We're part of all this. So, you know, when we were younger, they didn't have electricity and all this crap shooting in the air like they do today. And then, when, you know, you want to learn about this stuff. Like, why am I not feeling good? Like, I'm eating right. I'm, I'm just, like, trying to get through another day here. What's, what's wrong? And then you find stuff like this, and it's absolutely unbelievable. Like, so, yeah, the Schumann Residence. Today, it's very good, and it looks like, the it, well, it can change any time. But right now, we're doing really good with that. I don't know why I'm scrolling all the way down. But anyhow, since I uh, started the program, earthing is my thing. I love earthing. I am earthing actually as we speak. I think, yeah, they have a sale on this stuff right now. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention. Uh, what is it? Plush pad kit special, 62 bucks. You cannot beat that. Like, you can't beat that. Um, two years ago when I was sick in bed, I they have one for sleep, one for recovery, one for everyday use, and all kids two years ago when i was sick in bed i would stand outside i would stand outside in november and i noticed that when i was in my bare feet all the crazy electricity would run to the earth like it would release it because we're not standing on you know you're not standing on plastic shoes you're you're connected to earth what that means is you could walk under a cell tower and as long as you're in your bare feet the frequencies cannot touch you the problem is we have the plastic shoes on. So I bought this starter kit special. This is what I bought. And if you look at this rod, I got to show you guys this because this is so interesting and easy. This rod goes in the ground and this goes up the side of the house and this plugs into your bed. It plugs into your, your throw. It plugs into the patches. It plugs into all the products they sell. Or you can plug it right into the wall outlet to the ground of the house. Listen, if your house wasn't grounded, it would burn down. Like, you have to be grounded. So, <laughs> there's a funny story behind all this. I would stand outside in the middle of November and just freeze, but I was so sick. I was so desperate for an answer. And see, I, I got the throw right now. I'm grounded. So, this router and all that stuff that you see in the air, it ain't touching me. And it's Im immediately, when I touch this, I feel better. Like, your anxiety goes away. It's unbelievable stuff. And everybody that we've helped out, everybody that we've given it to with the giveaways, everybody, they have a testimony. Like, oh, my gosh. It's like, but it is. It's hard to believe, and I didn't believe it myself. But you guys stand outside in your bare feet. I mean, we got above average temperatures, and try it. Just stand outside. Take your shoes off, and you can feel all that dirty electricity leaving your body. It just leaves your body. And the earth, we don't touch the earth no more. We used to farm and we used to plant gardens and we used to do all that stuff. We don't do that no more. When's the last time you actually touched the earth? 
And the science behind it was people that went on vacation and went to the beach, when they put their feet in the sand, they would come back and stay healthier than any other people that went on vacations other places. So there is a ton of research behind it, and the book you get with it is like a Bible. It's really thick. And the whole book is things and how it can help you. So inflammation cannot live where you're grounded. If you're grounded, almost all diseases start with inflammation, guys. And if you're grounded, you can't be inflamed. They've been using this in the NFL. They've been using this stuff forever. And the funny thing is, we're just now getting word of it. Like, we're just now. And I'm thankful. I'm beyond thankful um, to be the first one to bring it to YouTube, um, this product. So you guys, take advantage of that if you, if, if you want to. I mean, I would never, 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 ever steer you wrong. But this is what I bought. And the thing I'm ha holding in my hand is right here. I think this is the throw. So, yeah, it's so simple and, you know, it's affordable. That's just it. It's affordable. I had to save up to get my moving right along. This is air now. This is the quality of the air we breathe. So these things are carcinogens. They're very bad for you. And you can look at what state you're in and see where it's bad. And, well, California, here you guys go. You're breathing unhealthy. Everywhere where it's red, unhealthy, everyone may begin to experience health effects. Members of sensitive groups may experience more serious health risks. This is unhealthy, very unhealthy. It's purple. And then all you do is go to Air Now, guys, type in your zip code, and go. Um, this I wanted to bring up just to show you. This is what's coming. This is on the way. It says the soaker from the Tennessee to Ohio valleys in the next weekend. There will be severe, uh, severe Friday and Saturday, and some frozen with this one. Flood risks will be high in areas and have been wet so far. So look at this map, unbelievable. I'm going to double check this when we get to the to the total accumulation map. But I had to show you that I found this stuff along the way. This is the path it's choosing to take. So it's coming out of, yep, the Tennessee Valley and going up through. And, of course, we got the Weather Channel, which I already showed you guys. Okay, so tough year for measles and other infectious diseases. It has been. It's been a crazy year for all kinds of plagues and stuff. And we bring the map up here, and this is something we watch. Like, I watch this. I watch this like a hawk. So we got uh, Florida with 14 cases of dengue fever. Now, you know, I watch this stuff because, you know, if you live in a state and all of a sudden you find out the flu is in your state, you're going to want to know about that, right? Or, you know, dengue fever is in your state. That's why I do it. I do it for you guys because you know what? The more you know, you know, the better off you can be in a situation like this. So if this is something that, you know, that you like, please subscribe to my channel because I'm constantly keeping updated on what states and what's going on. Um, you got nine mumps cases reported at the University of Arkansas. We did Florida. Florida's dengue fever. Um, all, all this dengue fever was down here. It was all down in Venezuela, Colombia. And look at all this. This is all dengue fever, and it's coming right up to the border. Right to the border, guys. And... Um, this, these are all people that are infected with this crap, and now we have it in the States. I called that 10 videos ago. I said, we're going to eventually have this in the States, and we do. Here we go. 700 cases of the flu reported in El Paso. Anybody that lives around here, you know, that's something that, that we should know about. And, of course, I brought up the articles. 700 cases of flu reported in El Paso this season. Uh, Fox 14 and um, 14 cases of dengue fever now confirmed in Miami-Dade County. So if you live down in Florida, be careful of this, of this stuff. Do your research on it. It starts out with fever, headache, eye pain, muscle, and joint pain, rash, nausea, vomiting, usual bleeding. Un yeah, unusual bleeding. I have them symptoms every day. I'm just joking. So, um, so yeah. Uh, this is the National Weather Service warning map. Mix, a wintry mix for mid-Atlantic wet pattern continues to the northeast. So there we have it now, and I'm sure in a couple days this is going to get really, really crazy. Um, here's the current radar. 
which you can just see the stuff coming into the country out west here. It's just pounding in and also up through here. So, you know, here is the minimum temperatures and it's very mild. So there's Tuesday. Let's go into Wednesday. Wednesday. And you can kind of look what state you're in. And like I said, if you like if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe and you know what's going on. Here's Thursday. And uh, that's a really weird pattern. Look how the look how the cold is pushing down. The cold is pushing down. Winter's not over yet, guys. We're from what I understand, we're gonna have a late a late winter. Look at this minus one stuff. And this line is still split right through the country. This was like this last week. But look at these mild temperatures. I mean, let's go look at the maximum temperatures just because I'm curious. So these are the highs. We'll do the highs the rest of the, the rest of the week. So we got a Friday. Look at this. This is in the middle of winter. I mean, we got 60 degrees up here. 60 degrees all the way up to the top of PA. And this is just unbelievable weather. It doesn't even feel like winter. It feels like putting a garden in. So these are your highs. Very mild. But you know, this is not, is not going to last long. So moving right along. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you. This will tell us the total precipitation of these storms and stuff so this is let me see what i clicked on 72 hours 168 hours look at this like this is the area that they're that they're hitting this is the area that's getting all the rain and you can see it's right here if you just go back 72 hours i mean it's it's, it's obvious you can see it so there it is now typically i've watched this for a long time a very long time and this drought map, you'll see the drought here. There's a drought here and a drought here. The drought map usually matches up to this map exactly, which is, I don't know, a coincidence. So moving right along, let's check out the total snowfall and go through like, I don't know, a 10 day, a 10 day forecast and see what we got. I'm seeing four, five, six inches already here, um, a whole way across the country here. So let's start here. This is uh, January 8th, Wednesday. This is Thursday the 9th. This is the 10th. This is the 11th, January 11th, January 12th, January 13th, January 14th, January 15th, January 16th. This is the 17th and 18th, 19th, and the 20th. Now, guys, this... this <laughs> I'm not going to say this is a uh, 100% fact, but these guys have normally got their stuff together. But look at the snow here, right in here and out west. It's just, it's a lot of snow if we indeed get it. So, yeah, crazy forecast. Winter is not over yet. I wish it was, but it's not. Okay, up to the recalls. I started covering this because I thought it was very important to know what, no, we're eating. I mean, they recall stuff every day, right? Like every day they're recalling stuff, but they don't put it on the news. So if you go to the supermarket and you go to Costco or wherever you shop, Walmart, it doesn't matter, and you buy lettuce and the lettuce is bad, wouldn't you like to know it? Well, I'm here to tell you it. I uh, actually signed up with this website so I get alerts and know when recalls happen and what the recalls are. So again, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe um, on top of this. So we got this Kettle Cuisine. Uh, now this is from the USDA. I mean, this is stuff, this is real deal stuff. January 3rd, um, undeclared allergens. Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, Kettle Cuisine Midco LLC recalls ready to eat soup products due to um, allergens. High risk right here high risk so kettle cuisine llc in lynn massachusetts is recalling this product it's a seven ounce polypropylene cup filled with containing a little dish called fresh food for kids lentils and beans and vegetables for toddlers you guys this runs out the expiration date runs out january 10th on this 
and this is something that needs to be put in a garbage can, it will make you sick. All this stuff that they put up, I've read into it, and it's bad news. So let me go back here. That's one. And I'm going to just show you guys, like, the most recent stuff. This one here, I have a uh, J and J distributing recall of salad products due to misbranding and um, undeclared allergens. Here's another one. Ready to eat salad products that contain meat. Okay, these are salads that contain meat. And this is December twenty first, two thousand nineteen to December. Okay, so this one's done. Uh, with this one, we don't have to worry about. So I not only went under the USDA, but look at this. This is food and drug incident mapping. Now, to make the show move along faster, I've already looked into this for you guys. So, we got recalls eggs linked to deadly um, listeria, like listeria in eggs. That sounds good. Um, Tennessee food supplier product may have contained uh, listeria. Listeria. This listeria stuff is getting in our food. Ohio recalls issue after green plastic found in uh, beef patties. So they're finding plastic and beef. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> when stuff when stuff like this comes out, we got to know about it. So I'm starting to cover that, you know. I, I think it's very important that, that we know what we're eating and what's in our refrigerator. And I'll keep it simple. Delaware, okay, so I went through all of these, and let me just show you. So... Voluntary worldwide recalls. So we got um, Mavident issues voluntary worldwide recall of lemon prep tubes, a single use cups. Now, this is what they look like. And if you guys have them, they need thrown away. They're called lemon prep. Um, and they are right now on the uh, recall list to, to get rid of them. So, Ricotia. It's a it's some kind of virus is a, a multi drug resistant pathogen microorganism containing products and basically result in serious infections and maybe life threatening. That's the stuff that's in this junk. It needs thrown out or thrown back to the company. So this is U.S. Recall News. You gotta really look for this stuff. It's not really easy to be honest with you to find it. Um, recall alert. So here we got North Carolina. Check your freezer. There is beef patties recall you need to know about. Nearly 16,000 pounds have been recalled. A recall was issued after a food service establishment found green plastic in the patties. Um, right here is the company. It's Advanced Perrier Foods. It said it did not receive any reports, but that's the company. Advanced per Perrier Foods. Nearly 16,000 frozen burgers. If you got any advanced Perrier foods in your freezer, guys, they are, <laughs> they got plastic in them. It's a great chance. Re Recall alert, Tennessee food supplier product may have uh, contaminated list listeria. Listeria. Boy, that sounds great, doesn't it? So another like disease. A Tennessee food supplier is recalling a product due to possible contamination of an organism that can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections to young children and elderly people. Um, great American Deli, uh, it's Great American Deli, Ulthawa is recalling GAD 114. They're called egg, egg salad sandwich, 4.8 ounce, 4.8 ounce UPC. This is a UPC number. It says um, it's got all this nasty stuff in it. Listeria is an organism that can cause fatal infections. Yeah. If you guys, here's a picture of it. If you guys have any of this stuff in your refrigerator, um, it might be a good idea to to get out of it. Now, anybody that shops at Aldi or, I guess, Giant, here's the next one. Um, a Sansbury Urgent Food Recall After Discovery of Undeclared Allergens. Now, what they did is uh, the supermarket Giant is urgently recalling uh, by uh, Sansbury hot buffalo dip. So it's hot buffalo dip because it contains eggs, uh, which has not been mentioned on the label. So you guys, this product here is what it looks like. It's a buffalo dip, and um, they're recalling it because it doesn't have eggs on the label. And there's some people that are allergic to eggs. So we got meat and salad. We got uh, eggs and stuff, and they're not letting you know. We got viruses and bacteria and all of this stuff. And, well, I thought, you know what? 
it would be good for all of us to know. So if, <laughs> if that's something that uh, interests you guys, uh, please subscribe. And, oh, remember, when you guys hit that notification bell, you got to go all the way up top and click the top bell or you won't get notified. I looked at my analytics the other night and only 30% of you guys are getting notifications. That's just the way it is. So unless you come back to the channel, unless you come back to the channel to see me, um, chances are you won't get notified. But please subscribe. Moving right along. Demandingthetruth.com. You guys, you guys, I have to give credit to you guys for this. You guys, 100% made this channel. You made the channel happen. Um, between you guys and the good Lord are the reason the channel, the channel even is here. I, I wouldn't have the channel without you guys. It's just, it's just the way it is. I um, am beyond, beyond thankful. I'm beyond blessed uh, to have a platform and to talk about the Bible on some shows and do home remedies on some shows. You know, I came from a place to where I was in bed and the faith of a mustard seed. I carried this in my pocket for two years and I got well and my deal with the Lord was is I couldn't hand out the gospel no more I was too sick because I'm a kind of a gospel slinging person I hand out the gospel all the time I get these printed up and I hand out the gospel I do now again but um you know I said I can't hand the gospel out and if you give me a platform I'll put the gospel in every single description box that I that I do Everything I record will have the gospel in it. And I'll have people read read the gospel. So there you guys have it. There's the story. So thank you so much for this. We got a new website, and it's called Demanding the Truth. It's DemandingTheTruth.com. Um, it's on every screen, so you guys, it'd be impossible for you guys to forget it. DemandingTheTruth.com. When you go over to DemandingTheTruth.com, you can just type it into Google, and then you click right here. And it's going to bring you over here, and we got a free giveaway. Uh, EMP protection giveaway. There's 1,000 people signed up, so your chances are good of winning this thing. I, I really want to give it away. Like, I can't wait. And it's of your choice. You guys pick it. You want one for your house, your vehicle, your camper, your camper generator. Um, just sign up for it. And this has got all of our videos on it, too. So if you ever just kind of get sick of YouTube and you want to watch the videos, they're all here. Um, you can contact us, all that stuff. And speaking of EMP Shield, they're right here. They make them for your house, your vehicle, your everything. Generator. And they do protect you from solar flares, lightning protection, and EMPs, which they're saying is going to happen. You know, it's just, it's bound to happen sometime here sooner than later. The interesting thing is we've got a... Uh, We've got, when I first started the channel, and some of you guys remember, I said, how would you like to go out on a boat ride? Would you guys like a boat ride? And um, everybody loved that idea. So we've got a boat ride coming up, and I'm planning a retreat. And it's probably going to be with another creator or two, and that's a secret. But I've talked to two creators now, and I know you guys like, like these two creators. So we're definitely going to be getting together and doing a retreat. So I'm working out the details on that. Good things take a little bit of time. So I'm putting my best effort into it. And you know what? Typically when I do that, things work out really, really good. Let me go back and make sure I, uh, I covered everything. Uh, we also have some country music, uh, country music artists that will be on the channel for interviews. My father owned two record labels. When he passed, I inherited the labels. And, well, let's just say I've been to Nashville just a couple times. So, yeah, that's coming up, plus giveaways and affiliates. If you guys have any, if there's anybody out there that can help the family, we're interested in that. So, you know, what do you guys think? This is the next show. We're going to be talking about, yeah, the Book of Enoch and Genesis. I hope you guys in, enjoyed everything. Um, I thought the Book of Enoch would be interesting to compare it with the Genesis story and to show people that. We just got done talking about the giants and stuff like that, and I found out some compelling stuff and some awesome pictures and some skeletons and just really, really, really interesting stuff about that. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are in the description box below, demandingthetruth.com. Please head over to demandingthetruth.com and sign up for your free EMP shield. 
It's a thousand entries so far. You have a good chance of winning it, and I can't wait to give it to you. Prayer requests are welcome in all comments on all my videos, and we will pray for you, and we'll thumb it up. Right, guys? Because we are family. There's a prayer in the description box for every single one of you. If you ever need it, it's always there. If not one person told you they loved you today, I do. Like, share, subscribe, and this here is for you guys. Thank you for all your input, and you guys have an awesome morning.